All right, so I just vacuumed out the uh, dust cup with the uh, shop vac here, my Craftsman shop vac. Although I didn't film it, uh, of course the I took off the hose and stored it in my closet. But I'll show y'all what the inside of the shop vac looks like after vacuuming the dust cup. Hang on, Hang on it's coming off. Hang on. There we go. Alright, here it is. That is a lot of dirt. Really. It all came out of that. And into here. Here's what the filter looks like. There's some dirt in the filter. Of course, after I get done with the uh, machine repair, or actually right now, I'm going to go ahead and throw this into the bin so that way it can be taken to the dump on Monday. Alright, let's go throw this. Oh god, that's a lot of dust. And there it is, nice and empty. Alright, so now we're gonna run the vacuum for a bit and let's see how it sounds. <laughs> sounds fine. Alright. All right, now we are in the bathroom. We are going to wash down the removable parts of the machine, except the brush roll, like the uh, dust cup. And that's so we're going to go ahead and put the uh, drain plug in. And turn the water on. Hang on. Alright, whatever. And it's filling up. I'm going to let it fill up all the way. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and unscrew the bottom of the machine. That's while the tub fills up to rinse the dust cup. I'm going to unscrew the bottom brush plate. Yeah, I'm unscrewing it. Yeah, because you can see the, uh, the plate starting to come off. Okay, oh, screwdriver rolled off. Screw one. Now let's get screw number two. Here's my tools. Okay, but let me turn it over. These are my tools for fixing vacuums and stuff. And they're always there whenever I need them to fix machines. Uh, the screw won't budge, so I'm at the kind of Hang on. It's almost full. Cool. While uh, I finally get the screw to budge. I just had it earlier. Alright, we're going to take off this screw. And yes, I know how to fix vacuums because I learned from. Uh, Learning how to fix vacuum videos on YouTube. Hang on, let me get these screws out. Alright, the tub is full. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab our brush roll out. The plate's going to need washing too. So it'll go in with the dust cup. Alright, here's the brush. I'm going to clean that off. And we can go ahead and start this. First going in will be the brush plate. Alright, doing this to rinse out the cup, there's the brush plate on the, underneath, I'll take them on in just a moment and see how they turn out, this water's already dirty, I'm going to give it a few more rinses and then uh, 
I think it can come out nice and clean. I've done this before, so don't worry. I've serviced several vacuums doing this. And these parts come off, there's no like electric stuff in them, so so it, I don't worry about getting shocked or it not working again. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and uh, check the uh, brush plate. Let's go ahead and check the brush plate. Oh, wow! Oh, my goodness. This looks absolutely incredible. Maybe if I can get that little piece of dirt off, then this thing can probably look brand new. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there and I'm scrub that dirt off of the rag but yeah looks like the dust cup looks nice and clean too all right now i'm just gonna clean off the stuff from the brush roll dry all this scrub that dry this and then put it back together and we'll see how it runs and i'm gonna clean that too all right now that these parts are dried and have been washed and i just cleaned off the brush roll there's a little bit of hair on it but still it looks nice and clean and uh now we can vacuum up the hair with the uh, shop vac and then uh, I'll go ahead and put everything back together and then we can do a little bit of vacuuming in another video with the vacuum before I send it back to my friend. put everything back together. First off the brush roll. Strap it on. Hang on. Just strap it onto the belt which I could maybe do on video. Yeah you just strap it in like that. Kind of pull it and then you s slide it in which uh, I'm doing right now. I gotta line it up with that little thing, so give me a moment. Alright, final screw to put in. Then I can reinstall the filter and uh, this machine will be ready to go. Only lighten first. I just gotta put the filter back in the dust cup and then this vacuum will be ready to go back. Alright. Now it has been now the brush plate's back on and now we can go ahead and put the filter back in.